my god, Tyson. Wait, Tyson brought his yo-yo to Korea? Oh wait, no, he bought a new one. I love Tyson. Tyson's like a nerd. Chat, girls, nerds are the best type of man. I am not joking. They are the best. <laughs> it's like he finds his niche and like what he loves to do and he'll like become like hyper fixated on it. Also, he has like severe ADHD. So that probably also has something to do with it. <laughs> but it's like the best ever. They're the sweetest people. They love you so much. They're like... They're the sweetest. Yeah. I don't know. It's the best. Like he's in, uh, he has like a severe, well, it's not even a severe. He has like a crazy addiction right now to DSs. I'm sure he's explained it to you guys. But man, oh man. Nintendo DS yeah so he's like trying to fix them and he he bought a soldering like kit and everything yeah he has five yeah he has five he bought me one he got tight like he got his like he has like four or five of them on his own but um I'm it's so sweet because when I was younger you guys oh wait oopsies when I was younger I used to be obsessed with DS's what's a DS Am I getting old? Oh my god, the age is showing. Oh my god. Yo, 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 you're scaring me. Chai, you're scaring me. Wait, do you know what a DS is? Please be honest. Oh my god, some people are saying no. Yo, okay. So Nintendo came out with a gaming handheld called a DS chat and that shit was peak. It's literally the best. Oh wait, I was there when Game Boy existed. Me too. But actually, no, not fully. I was there for when like DS released. So DS is like a handheld chat here. I'll show you. Okay. And okay. So the first version that came out first, you guys, wait, why am I saying that like this? It was a DS Lite and I had a DS Lite and in like this really pretty sky blue. Um, oh my God, this is the one that I had. And I actually never played Pokemon. I was obsessed with Mario. So th yeah, this is the color that I had you guys. And it's a handheld, just like a little stick that comes out this side to like touch. I, wait, let me go grab it real quick, actually. Oh my God. Yeah. I was there when Game Boy existed, me too. But actually, no, not fully. I was there for when like DS released. So DS is like a handheld chat here, I'll show you. Okay, and okay. So the first version that came out first, you guys, wait, why am I saying that like this? It was a DS Lite and I had a DS Lite and in like this really pretty sky blue. Um, oh my God, this is the one that I had. And I actually never played Pokemon. I was obsessed with Mario. So th yeah, this is the color that I had you guys. And it's a handheld, just like a little stick that comes out this side to like touch. I, wait, let me go grab it real quick, actually. Oh my God. What 
Tyson, Tyson took it with him. I haven't played it. Tyson took it with him, but I have the box. So yeah. So I had a really weird thing that I used to do when I was younger chat. And honestly, I don't think a lot of you guys are going to be able to relate to it. But when something used to get really old or would even slightly break, I would just destroy it. So for instance, a pair of shoes. Like, I don't know, the sole would like lift a little bit. I'd be like, oh, they're already breaking. Let's have fun with it. So I would take it and I would just like break it apart. I would take scissors and just cut it and like it would destroy them. Stupid, very stupid. But I don't know why the fuck I used to do that. Exactly, I was not rich. I was not rich, I was poor as fuck, bro. That is not rich people behavior. It was a weird destruction thing that I had. Exact same thing with the DS. Uh, my aunt bought me a DS. So I had it for a really, really long time. And um, when I was in high school, I accidentally dropped it. And if you guys know, a DS opens and you hear a click. But the thing is, is that that hinge that was leaving it open, it broke. So when I would open it, it would like flip like this and it was fully open. So I couldn't properly play on it. And so I got really sad and I just snapped it in half and threw it out. <clears throat> it was still working, but it was basically broken. So I don't know why I did that. But like, I used to just do shit like that with like everything that would like kind of break. I'd be like, uh, well, it's done now. Time to let it go. But no, like I, I was not, I was not rich at all. I was poor. And my parents actually used to get mad at me because those were supposed to be like hand-me-down things, like shoes. Like certain shoes were supposed to be hand-me-downs to my fucking sister, but I would destroy them. It might have it might have been like a thing that I did so Sakura wouldn't get it. I don't know. It could have been a jealousy thing. At the end of the day, I have no clue why I used to do that. I only remember doing it for like very selective things. It wasn't that many things, but I remember doing it with the DS specifically. I remember doing it with my football cleats, like soccer. I did it with my cleats um, and maybe a few pairs of shoes. So I, I don't know what it was, something like that. But anyways... Tyson, for a gift, ended up surprising me and getting me my childhood DS in mint condition, like new straight from the box, like it was never opened before, um, which was like the sweetest thing that he ever did because we were talking about it and I was just like, yeah, I remember when I used to have like a little skylight like DS, I used to love that thing so much and then it broke so I had to throw it out and so... Um, just randomly, he got it for me. The, the DS isn't in here. I think he took it with him or it's somewhere else. But I was like, this is just like the most sweetest thing. Like that's the type of person Tyson is, right? He, he listens. He's very, like, he's very attentive. He listens and he understands. And then like, it doesn't go to say that you have to, you know, buy things all the time to make me happy. But like, it's just like stuff like this. This is like the sweetest. Um, and the only game that I used to play on it, by the way, was this game. Oh my God, I was obsessed. I, I finished every level. I finished everything all the way up. I finished all the secret, uh, secret rounds. By the way, I didn't YouTube anything. I used to just, I used to go through every level, go through every little crevice. I was like, is this tunnel active? Is this one active? Like, is there a secret way? And I would say, yeah. This was the game that I was absolutely fucking obsessed with, you guys. Again, I cleared every level, every boss, right? Like, uh, I did all of the um, extra levels that, like, you'd have to unlock. I had three coins on every single level, no lie. Every single... Um, you guys know how like when you unlock a round, sometimes there's like the a trail to like a big mushroom and then you can go into the room and then you can get certain boosts and stuff. On the first run that I ever did, I would have every single one unlocked, never used. So I had all of the mushrooms throughout, like every single like level. Like I had like the most clean run, three gold stars for everything. Like I was obsessed with this game. Like I cleared it to 100% and that is no lie. And this is the, this is the one game that I think I've ever done that for. And so, oh my God, it was the best. Like genuinely, like I have such good memories. 
Um, Actually, it's kind of morbid. Well, not morbid. Well, you guys know that I was kidnapped when I was younger and I had to stay at like a home. Um, some uh, We would get DS time and there was only one DS that was shared at like the orphanage place that I was staying at. But um, the kids, like this one boy loved this game. And so I used to just watch him play it like all the time because he wouldn't share. <laughs> So, like, I, I still have, like, fond memories of that. But, yeah. Excuse me, explain first. I've already explained it before, so it's really interesting. I was kidnapped by a family member, and I didn't see my family for over six months. And I was, like, separated from my mom and my dad. It was when I was in Japan. Um, and there's a law in Japan and I'm not sure if it's still active to this day, I think it still is, where a family member could technically kidnap you and uh, the law doesn't do anything about it. So um, my parents were in Canada at the time and I was in Japan for school and then I got kidnapped and I was separated from my mom and my dad. They had to go through uh, a ton of like legal fees, lawyers and everything. And I was no joke, the first case of a kid who was kidnapped in Japan and brought back to their parents. I'm one of one at the time. And Kaide lore goes crazy. Bro, I have insane lore. Kidnapped, cancer. What else, you guys? Now a content creator. Like, I have the weirdest life. Like, I like grew up fucking poor as shit. Like, I don't know. People think that I grew up rich. I did not grow up rich. I had a really fucked up background of, like, being a kid. The fact that I turned out half decent in itself is fucking insane. You know, a pat on the back for myself for doing that. But no, my, um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm proud of myself overall. <laughs> and I'm very, I'm very thankful. My life now is very peaceful with Tyson. And I think that's what life did. Life was just like, let's just give her the shittiest time and then just let her chill <laughs> when she's, when she's older. Oh my God. Stop acting like a victim. I don't think I am. I'm just saying that life goes up and life moves on. And I know that anyone can accomplish anything if you guys put your mind to it. You guys got this shit. Trust me when I say that. But yeah. I mean, a lot of people are always like, oh my God, you're like so mature for your age. And I'm like, brother, I feel like I've lived like 20 different lives already in the span of 22 years. We've We've been through it, but... It's been good. I'm, I'm very thankful still, regardless of all the hardships. Again, like when I tell you guys this, I mean it wholeheartedly. Life, well, for me, life got better. I think life will get better. If you guys feel like you're in a really bad spot. I've, I also went through severe depression as well in my senior year of high school. And I went to a psychiatric hospital and I was there for a bit. Um, and I was on medication and stuff. I literally had to sign away my rights when I was there, it was really scary, but yeah, no, like genuinely, I know you guys will get through whatever you're going through. Life fucking sucks sometimes. And I a hundred percent like know that. I can, I can empathize. I really can, but trust me, it's gonna be okay. I promise. Yeah. <laughs>